expecting to hear from officials, as I mentioned, in just a few hours. Talk us through what you've been seeing um, so far there in Superior. Hey there, Yasmin. Still so many questions swirling around this uh, really devastating event. The fires burned into the night. And so really this morning, now that we have daylight, is the first opportunity for officials to really evaluate the extent, the devastation of the Marshall Fire. At just 1,600 acres, it's actually relatively small, but it carried such an immense impact on several communities near Boulder, Colorado here. Uh, nearly 600 uh, homes destroyed, making it the most destructive fire in Colorado history in terms of property loss. And you heard the governor talking about just the uh, really alarming pace of the flames. And that's coming from a dangerous combination of things. One, the whipping winds reaching 100 miles per hour, strong enough to topple tractor trailers. And then two, the parched grounds. This region is in an extreme drought, just 1.6 inches of rain since uh, August. So there's a number of factors that played into this really unprecedented and historic fire. Uh, just outside of Denver. And I think the other thing to consider is this is not a sparsely populated area. We are within an hour of Denver, and so it's suburbia. So when flames are coming through at such great as a pace as this, uh, it's going to obliterate and incinerate entire um, uh, uh, shopping centers and neighborhoods. The, the toll just felt so deeply by so many people. Um, we might get some updates on numbers later today. I know there are so many questions. A lot of residents haven't been able to go back into their neighborhoods. So still very much a developing situation, Yasmin. Yeah, we spoke to the mayor um, in the last hour, Emily, um, of Superior, Colorado, where you are, and he actually told me he's expecting fatalities. Of course, he wasn't giving us any concrete numbers there, but expecting that because this thing moved so quickly, people just didn't have enough time to get out. Are you hearing anything similar? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the fear. I think that when you listen to the dispatch and 911 calls yesterday, you heard the chaos and the fear. Uh, people talking about people running on foot away from the flames, or you may have seen those snarled traffic lines as entire communities mm. were trying to get out and escape the fire. So, uh, yeah, injuries and fatalities could be on the table. We're hoping they're not. So far, we know that uh, one hospital is treating at least six burn patients, and we're told a police officer was injured, but just to a minor degree. We'll see if they learned anything else this morning, Yasmin.